Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode in Mania Airsoft. Today, I'm going to be doing a modification on the AAP01. This has actually, pistol has taken the market by storm, and an absolutely lovely pistol. Love it, had to get one myself. But one of the downsides that personally I don't like is the way if you want to put on the full auto, you've got to hit this selector switch. A little bit kind of awkward and messy, but what we have right here is a selector switch uh, kit that can actually will fit on the outside of the gun. So essentially for all intents and purposes, we're gonna name this the actual selector switch handle itself. It's got a little, a little grub screw on it. This is, we're gonna call say the selector bolt. So that will actually attach the handle and that'll twist back and forth in order to move the selector switch arm. So this little roundy bit here will sit in here and it will twist back and forth like that in order to take it from single back onto full auto, okay? So, first thing we gotta do is we gotta open this up. Now, you can, you can open it up if you want, take it off, or you can actually leave this on, it doesn't really matter. So essentially, this little piece will be actually going right in here. So what we're going to do is take out this whole bolt completely. How you take out the whole bolt completely is, we're gonna need a two mil Allen key. You will also need a little short, tiny, that's about a, a three mil um, Phillips screwdriver. I think that's about a six or a seven mil screwdriver. Not majorly important, but the two mil Allen key is what we need here. So there you go. Get this off. There. This sight that's actually on this here is actually very, very important because it actually holds the bolt place in place. So the back of the sight here actually goes down and holds the bolt kind of in. So the whole carriage itself. Now when you're pulling this out, you'll feel a little bit of resistance, but just keep going and it clicks off. So it comes out in one, one nice piece. We'll leave this to the side here. So your selector switch, click and click it back again. Not a big issue. So we'll get our screwdriver and we'll start loosening this little piece here. Here we go. And we'll just pop that down there, sit that down. And then this is where your two little your two mil Allen key one comes in handy and just pops out. So there you go. There's that out of the way. Now, so we've got our selector switch bolt, and you see the hole at the back. It is also goes through onto the inside. So you want to literally fit this in like this. So the highest part of your um, the bolt is actually up here. So. Now you need to have fiddly fingers and if you watch any of my other videos, I do not have fiddly, fiddly fingers. And it is a little bit, oh look at that. It's just there, I'm just gonna use a screwdriver just to push it through. There we go. Now, personally I will actually get my selector switch in place. Actually no, 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 we'll, we'll leave that for a minute. We'll leave that for a minute. Now, leave that down here. That's your piece there. Now, very important, on this 3D print, there's like a little lip just here and a little lip just there. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get that in. So essentially this is the bottom part. So this is the top and that is the bottom. So with my selector switch bolt down in there, you want obviously the top, we're gonna, and you wanna put it in like so first, pushing down Getting into it, huh? just clicks down. It is literally how easy it goes in. We'll grab our seven mil Phillips screwdriver. And no, doesn't wanna play, what doesn't wanna play ball? Ah, there we go. Now, 
just putting it on loosely, not overly tight for a second. Now my selector switch bolt. Um, let's see, what way do I want to have it? I will put it on so that it goes in here like this. And we'll have it turned around there. Okay, so use your finger, hold it down nice and flat, make sure it's it's on kind of you know nice and snug, you know, push in, make and, and then with your little small three mil screwdriver Phillips one. So there we are, full auto, single, full auto, that's it. So I'm happy enough with that. I'm just gonna tighten this up just a little bit more because I don't want it bouncing around too much, wiggling its way loose. Make sure it's, no, I got it probably too tight. We'll just bring it back just a little bit. There we go. There's a nice little bit of a stiffness to it. That's it, does the job, simple as that. Now, <clears throat> slides back in here like so. That's it, there's that little resistance again. So yeah, I know I'm good. Um, and flip it over. Put your sights and just, your sight just literally clicks back on in there. Drop that in there like so. That's it, just get a little bit of a pinch in it. You don't want to go overly tight because this is kind of like a plasticky kind of nylon gun. So I'd say if you really went kind of to town on tightening these kind of little things then you'd probably end up running the thread and you don't want to do that. So there we go, there's a nice little pinch. So, you know, single. Full auto. I hope I got the selector switch on the right way because it'll be kind of funny if it if it doesn't work out. So click this back in here. Now this back in there. So this is obviously the pistol uh, thing that comes with it. Drops in there. I'll flip it over on the single. Full auto. Oh, ran out of gas. Not a problem. So. And like I said, um, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of other mags you can actually go into this as well. This is a WE 50 round Glock mag. Not a problem, full auto, hands it like a champion. Flip on the single, not a problem. Leave that there as well. Now, this is my Armorworks AW Custom Hexiglock. It, this is the VX series Hexiglock and the reason why I'm letting you know about this is for the simple fact, this mag This mag is also compatible with the Action Army. So if you wanted to get the drum mag to fit this, the particular brand that actually fits this and fits this perfect is the AW Custom Drum Mag VX Series for the Glock. I would show you, but it's in post, it's in transit, and it just hasn't gotten here yet. So guys, hope you found that informative. Um, please do hit that like button and subscribe, and I will get more content out to you as soon as possible. So stay safe in the battlefield guys, keep your old pro on and bring the boom. Catch us later.